Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Hope you had a good Saturday. Not, not too bad, busy working. So, Anyways, um, <clears throat> this is a Van Damme classic, a nice classic. On the way, that Van Damme film, in my opinion, turned in there. Pretty, pretty much, as you know, we've seen the film Die Hard, set in hockey arena. I really, really like this film. Top 10 Van Damme film, maybe lower lower tier of Van Damme film, maybe 7, 8, 9, it's one of the favourites. Really good film. I think the reason why they finally do worse at the box office is because at the time release, at least in Christmas time, and it's not a Christmas movie. I also why this is really summertime. Even September, October time would have been better. But I don't know why this, this film released in the summer, December time. In the Christmas period. I have no idea why. It was universal, but they just move push universal, decided to release this in December time. But anyway, the film did okay at the box office. I think it was very big. Let me check. With a 35 million budget, I made 64, 64 million was large. So it made almost double this budget, so it's okay. Not a massive success. It's okay. It's directed by Peter Hyams, the guy who directed Time Cop, which to this day is still Van Damme's biggest movie, box office wise, leading actor. You can't call him Spendables 2 because Van Damme's not leading actor, Slayers. Peter Hyams is a good director. He directed two of Van Damme's best films, in my opinion, this and um, Time Cop. So, not sure, Van Damme plays a former fighter fighter. Unfortunately, lost his license as a firefighter because of he was supposed to save a girl, which he's shown in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the beginning. So he calls a fire marshal instead. And he's a fire marshal at this big hockey game. He takes his kids uh, as a way to treat them. And then the hockey, when he gets taken by a terrorist, who was led by Charles Booth, which is a good villain, really, really good film. He loves, his, he loves being a bit bad guy. He will kill you, children. Even one of his terrorists, one of his henchmen killed a elderly couple, he killed, killed a, a woman. He's been held hostage to get the, the head cut to let his, his henchmen in, into the, um, the vice president's suite. So, Price Booth is a good bit underrated movie, man, but underrated movie, really, in my opinion. He loves it. He'll kill kids, even. He wouldn't, if he could, he would, he would have hesitated, came around and thought of uh, any time. I would have, would have had a chance. So, really good villain. One of the best parts of the movie, infamous, the, the, the Van Damme fight scene with, with um, and the mascot. You know, realize it's actually a woman. And when I get to beat it, this woman can fight. She, right, this woman can beat Van Damme to, almost to a pulp until she gets strangled. I didn't realize that she's a woman until, I've seen the film a few times in the past, but I think, I think it was in the second or third attempt. I watched some, six, second or third of watch of, of some death. I mean, that was actually a woman, a bigger woman, must be at least maybe five. I think maybe bigger than that. I mean, five, because I left five nine, not a tall guy really. Um, so one must be at least five, ten, five, eleven. Because he's, he's at, either, at least Van Damme's size, he's not higher, and she can fight. I'll keep giving Van Damme a beating. So I guess it was interesting to try to set up. In fighting a top of typical man, in fact, she fights a woman and he almost loses a fight. Actually, probably the toughest fight in the movie is the human and the pink and the mascot, but you know, with a woman. Um, good fight scenes, good action. But I see one of the diehard reports because the 90s were infamous, all the diehard reports because you have speed, the speed two, on the siege, on the siege two, air force one, so many, um. On Air, The Rock. It's one of the better that I had rip-offs. I think my favorite that I rip off is probably the, maybe the Speed or The Rock. Between those two, Speed or The Rock. We want uh, rip-offs. He's up there. Really good film. Good feeling, good story, good action. One of the best film. Arguably, this is one of the last very, very good film films. So, theatrical films. After this, it goes downhill because the other you know, quest came out and the Max of is okay, decent, not amazing. And the double team was uh, fun, goofy, and the Rock Off and 
for us to sort of return. But this is, we argue, you know, you can argue this is lust. So the theatrical movie is the right now, lust, lust, probably lust hurrah, I can argue. When lust, lust hurrah, there's a good, really good movie, it's crafted, it goes downhill to the quality. He has some good movies since, you could use the Replicant, The Order, In Hell, Until Death, but those are about directed DVD movies. Turn the theatrical movies and it's prime. This is a the when that's the last good, really good film. Really good film, in my opinion. It was Max and Rest of Quest, oh, oh, enjoyable, okay, not, not fantastic, but this is a, a, a good, really good movie, in my opinion. But good movie. We like that Hyper Puffs. This is one of the best. Take care. Come subscribe, guys. Have fun. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye now.